The only problem he has. Hey, here's a shortcut. Not down there, Square. I don't think it's safe. Come on, the coast is clear. I'm not taking a chance, Lance. Oh, no. Well, well, hello, dog face. Come to give us your sneakers. Uh-oh, trouble again, Scruff. What are you gonna do now? I don't know. If you get my new comic activity book, More Adventures with Scruff, you'll find out what you can do about bullies, drugs, and guns. Am I the hero again? You'll see. And you'll see lots of games. Cool. For your free copy of my new comic activity book, write Scruff McGruff, Chicago, Illinois, 60652. Scruff McGruff, Chicago, Illinois, 60652. And you'll be helping take a bite out of crime. I want it, I want it. To be an organ and tissue donor, even if you've signed something, you must tell your family now so they can carry out your decision later. Call 1-800-355-SHARE for your free brochure. And we're back here at Siebens Fieldhouse. We're going to give you the starting lineups here. For BV, we got O.J. Frolich, uh, six foot junior, averaging 10.4 points a game and 2.8 rebounds. Frolich's a great player from Algona, Iowa. He's a junior, He's extremely quick off the dribble mat. Nick, Nick Detlinger, six four senior, averaging 19.6 yeah. points a game. Detlinger from Arcadia can really shoot the ball. Jamie Wilson is 6'4", senior, averaging 3.6 points and 8.8 .8 rebounds. Second in the conference, those rebounds, Matt. Aaron Bloom, a 6'2", senior, 18.4 a game and 2.6 rebounds. Excellent shooter as well. Brian Schmalbeck, a 6'0", senior, averaging 9, almost 10 points a game and 2.1. Uh, Schmalbeck, he, uh, he's more of a forward general. He don't always score, but he can if they need it. And the BB beaters are... Coached by Coach Brian Van Haften. He's actually from Pella, so this is kind of a game against some of his, maybe his old rivals, maybe. For the Central Dutch, we got uh, Tosh Dillinger. Yeah, I've, I've seen Tosh play from Alleman North Polk. He's an excellent inside-out player. He looks tall, but he can shoot the ball. Don't, uh, don't underestimate him. That's a 6'6 sophomore, Cass was just talking about. We got Jeff Whedon, a uh, 6 Excuse me, a 6'3 senior. Uh, we got Keith Segner, 6'6 junior. Wade Vandermolen, 6'3 sophomore. I've seen that kid play, everybody. He's, watch out for him. He's a tough player. When I was in high school, we played against him. Could not figure out how to stop him. And rounding out the starting five for the Central Dutch is Josh Gring, a 5'11 junior, averaging 7.4 points a game and 2.4 rebounds. Head coach is Dan Masson for the Pella Dutch, yeah, Central Dutch, sorry. The five and three Beavers are taking on the one and eight Central Dutch. Should be a good game. Don't let that one and eight record fool you, everybody. This team looks ready to go. Getting ready to start here in just a second. Looks to be a good one. Stands are starting to fill up. And we're gonna have Keith Segner jumping against Jamie Wilson for the tip off. And we're just about ready to get underway here on January 6th, 1998. Ball is up and it's tipped and BB controls it. Good second effort there. Number 15, Brian Schmalbeck controls the tip. Down the left side there. Interesting Try matchup to get early. They got Dillinger on uh, Dillinger, Dillinger on Dettlinger already. Try to get it inside there, no go. Brings it back up the court for Central. Back outside to number 20, Wade Vandermolen. He's a three-point shooter, folks. Look for him to shoot the ball if he gets his hands on it. Three land, no good, air ball. That's an air ball by number 24, Chris Johnson. It's not something you want to pr be proud of. No, it certainly is not. Who's going to? Looks like number 44, Keith Segner, is going to inbound the ball for the Dutch here. Gets it into his point guard, Joe Borg. Fouls on Brian Schmalbeck, his first first foul of the game. Borg, look, thought about the three, gets it over. Back to Borg. 
Left side. Gets it inside to Vandermolen. Vandermolen gets the roll. Great entry pass. pass. Two nothing Dutch with 19 minutes to go here in the first half. Brian Schmall back driving. Gives it to Detlinger. Out of bounds. Who are they going to give it to? Looks like they're giving it to the Beavers. Jamie Wilson is going to inbound it for us. Jamie Wilson is going to inbound it. Gets it into Schmallback. Over to Detlinger. Detlinger for three. Off the front of the rim. Drew some iron, but couldn't draw him that. Passes up court to Borg. Or, oh, long three. And hits it. Number 44, Keith Sager from way downtown. downtown. Bang. That was Chris Kingsbury range there, folks. Schmallback gets it over to Wilson. Gives it to Detling. No, I'm sorry. That's number 24, OJ Forlick. And the shot is good by number 25, Aaron Bloom. Bloom lighting it up. Borg brings it back up the court. Gets it over to number 44, Keith Segner hitting that long three just a moment ago. Dylan Drew with the reach. Can't be having those fouls out front for your best player. No, you can't. That's fouls played a key role in the second half of that girls game and don't want that to play a key role in this game, that's for sure. No, we don't, man. Gets it into Vandermolen. Vandermolen up, shoots. No good. Over the back. I don't know about that call. He was just standing there and the ball come right at him. Really didn't reach for that. Jamie Wilson going to inbound the ball here for us. Tried to get it into small back here. Ball is in play. Bork playing defense on Schmallback. Schmallback gives a spin move. Shot is up. No good. Off the front of the rim. Wilson rebounds. Wilson goes back up. Left-handed hook. No good off the front of the rim. Wilson gets his own shot. Gets fighting for it. What hustle shot inside, back up. Matt. No good. Wilson gets the rebound. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Detlinger. Detlinger Boom. hits the three. What a, what a play by Jamie Wilson inside. Reigns it in. That was a great look outside, too. Had some help in there from Aaron Bloom as well. Borg dribbling, dribbling. Gets it out to number 24, Chris Johnson. Johnson drains the three. And he can shoot the ball. Someone better find him or it's going to be a long night. Score is 5-8 to eight in favor of the Dutch. Oh, that was a nice move by number 24, OJ. No yeah, Freilich is one of the quicker players at the conference. Tough shot for Dillinger. I didn't think he was going to get that Wilson call. Long we have a long break. And lays it in off the glass, number 24. That was a nice play there by uh, Wilson. Now out, out uh, let the ball there. That's five rebounds for Wilson already, and we're only about three and a half minutes into this game. As I said, he averages 10, point, or 10 rebounds a game, second in the conference. We got a foul here. Who's it on? Looks like it's on uh, number 25, Aaron Bloom. We're gonna have Tosh Dillinger here shooting two. Score is seven to eight, in favor of the Dutch. 16.39 left to go here in the first half. I'm Matt LaCasse with my color commentator here, Cass Burkhart, who's performing stand-up comedy later on this week somewhere, if you can find him. Probably in a hole somewhere. <laughs> in a hole somewhere. Ooh, Nick Winter's a freshman in this game early for Jamie Wilson. Kind of surprise. Wilson must, looks awful fatigued over there on the bench. Oh, Coach Van Haften, he's a, a frequent substitute. And Dillinger's second one is up and good. They were going to bring in the 6-7 Harrington out of Eagle, Eagle Grove, Iowa. That's a big boy there. That is. Dillinger gets the ball in, though. Number 30, Nick Winters. Winters, as I said, just a freshman from Iowa Falls. Orlick brings the ball up the court. Gives it to Detlinger on the right side. Detlinger over to Winters. Winters inside. Excellent entry pass. Oh! Nice entry pass by Winters. Got it in there to, to Bloom. Bloom gets it fed to him by Vandermolen, but uh, draws a foul. Vandermolen gets called for the foul. His first. Central second. Bloom's first one is up and good. 
And that makes the score 98 in favor of the Dutch. 16-23 to go in this gun in this first half. Second one's up and good. Bloom drains both of them. NBC, nothing but cord, bat. Gets it into Vandermull in there. What a play by Schmalbeck. He got up and knocked that pass down. Surprising ups for a little guy. Our field cam man there, Adam Bartek, help, helping out the referee, grabbing the ball for him. Thank you, Adam. Oh, long pass. Oh, Dallas says, no soup, no soup for you. No soup for you. Come back another year. Missing the puppies inside. Lots of action going inside. Winners taking it up strong. John the foul is going to be at the line. What are the Zebras going to call here? Looks like double zero. Uh, that'd be Dillinger with a foul. Or no, I'm sorry, Joe Borg. We have Nick Winter shooting two here. Winter's first one is up and nothing but net. You hit those free throws and you're going to win ball games. That's right. Get those turnovers down. Second one's up. That one's good also. This game's starting out with a pretty fast pace, up tempo. Scores 11 to 9, 16 minutes to go. Beavers are up now. Vanderbilt for three. Tough shot. Wade Vanderbilt and knocks it down. Nick Winters gets inside. Oh, it's blocked. Winters gets stuffed twice. Tough play, though, on Winters' part. Chris Johnson going to bring the ball up. Gets it over to Vanderbilt. Oh, what a pass by Vanderbilt. And if only uh, Harrington could have hold on, held on to that. They give Winters 6-4. I don't know. He might be 6-3. But uh, them big guys inside, 6-6, 6-7, are going to take it away from him every time. He needs to take it up into the body more. Dellinger gets it in. Over to Winters. Winters goes up. And, oh, no good. Took it up strong. Just needs to finish that. Vander Mullen comes down with the rebound. As I said, he's only a fresher. Might be a little nervous right now. Just get it inside, kick it back out to Vandermolen. Vandermolen driving up and it's good. Looks like Central Roy really spreads our offense, Matt. Looking for the three or the dump down inside. That's seven points for Wade Vandermolen. We're not even five minutes into this game. Well, if you remember, uh, Brazda for BV started out fast in the other game, but cooled off in the end. Along with Sorensen for Central. Here Vandermolen again. Freyla trying to take it away from him. The kid can play. Late That's call. Fun. Extremely late call. Wow. He's already to the hoop before he called that. But hey, doesn't matter what I say. Only well, matters what the jury and the black and white uniforms decide. Coach Van Hafen does not agree. Neither do the fans, man. Keith Segner, Segner going to inbound it. Gets it into number 22, Josh Gearing. Gary dribbling around. Gets it over to Jeff Whedon. Oh, tough shot. The big man out of Rono, Minnesota. Keith Segner hitting two big threes. Dellinger in. And they're going to call the foul on Segner. Dellinger takes it right at him and gives him the stare after the foul. I don't know. That Segner's a pretty big guy. Dellinger, he's a... Uh, Key player for this BV team. Oh, he is. He's an excellent ball player, excellent shooter. It's two fouls on Keith Segner. That could be big early in this game. Could be. We'll have to see how it turns out. Just a smidgen over five minutes. In. First shot's up for Detlinger. And no good. Bounces around and says, nope, not this time. Looks like we're going to have an early entrance by Brian Fisher, the man they call Fish. Fish. He doesn't see much playing time normally, but I think they want a big body in there. And uh, big body is what he's going to give you. You betcha. Jamie Wilson coming in. He's got five rebounds already. Took a seat for a while. Looked a little bit fatigued. Detlinger second. No good. Detlinger missed them both. That's something, something you don't see very often, folks, is Detlinger missing two free throws in a row. Dutch get it inside. Kick it back out. Shoot the three. And it's good. They're not afraid to shoot the ball, are they? 50, no, 42, excuse me, Dustin Kraft. 
And the Dutch are excited. What they say Central Circuit was, one and eight? I don't see it. No. They are five from five from three-point land, everybody. These people know how to shoot. Folks, even Matt can do the math on that. That's what percent? <laughs> That's 110%, everybody. That's They're right. just rolling them out They're here. They're nailing the shots, folks. And there we are. Thank you, Adam Bartek. How you doing, everybody? It's us up here, folks. <laughs> Still us. All right. Along with Adam Matlock, our... Our uh, assistant director here, keeping with, us informed and with trying, Charlie to make look, head. trying to make me look a little bit intelligent. Okay, we're gonna have uh, Nate Bjorkman's Nate in the game. Something or other, I can't pronounce that. Bjorkman. Bjorkman. <laughs> Along with Nolan Strive, he's getting substitutes in early. These people don't usually play, Matt. I think he wants to sit his starters down and say, okay, once you're ready to play, I'll put you back in. Well, uh, Bjorkman and Landon Roth, you know, they come off the bench a lot, and, and Wilson, he starts, but Fish and, and Stride, they don't see a lot of time usually. Josh Geary I'm bringing the surprised. ball back up the court here to the left side. Kicks it back out, number 33, Jeff Whedon. There's Vandermolen for you. Vandermolen driving up. Oh, oh the runner's that hook. That's nine points for Vandermolen. He's... He's so tough. You got it, people. You have to guard Wade Vandermolen. That's all I. That's all you can say about him. You have to guard him. Landon Roth looking to take him off the dribble. There's Landon Roth. Jay Answer, our field reporter, had an interview with him before the during the halftime of the girls' game. Roth up. No I'm good. So Bounces off. Hit on the fish. Way up, but fish for two. Fish. fish puts it in. Had a boy, fish. Congratulations. Josh Gary like brings back up. Score. 13 to 22 in favor of the Dutch. Get it back out. <laughs> Number 42, Dustin Kraft makes another three even though it didn't count. Thank God for that. <laughs> but no one can shoot that good the whole time. I've seen Michael Jordan miss. <laughs> yes, even Jordan misses. Bounces yeah. off the leg there of Harrington. Univisma recovers, brings it back up the court. Fish says, give it to me. Jimmy Wilson inside, fending against Harrington. Gets it inside to Landon Roth. Landon Roth, Roth with a tough out. play. Vandermolen for three. Oh, that's, that's 12 for Vandermolen. Somebody better start guarding him, folks. You know, dare I say, in fuego. Oh. He is in fuego. <laughs> He's on fire, that's all you can say, people. Going Shot up for BV, no good off the front of the rim. Be looking for Vandermolen, buddies. Gets it into Harrington. Vandermolen inside, says give the ball to me. He knows it. Says, Wonder if give Dan me the rock. Joe Borgen entered the game here for Central. Wade Vandermolen is certainly showing his bomb capabilities here. Yeah, Launching him from downtown. A long distance caller to me. Got a lot of frequent flyer miles going on there too. <laughs> <laughs> Harrington drives up over Billy Fish. No good. Jimmy Wilson rebounds. Gives it to number 11, Nate Bjorken. Jorkin. Jamie Wilson driving. Gets it out and no good for Bloom. Gets it back out to Bjorken, over to Wilson. Wilson drives, back to Bloom. Gonna have a foul here. Looks like the foul's gonna be on Jeff Whedon, his first. Looks as if uh, Wilson's pretty shaken up a little bit. He's limping around. It's a bad sign when you're grabbing your knees this early in the game. First game back after break, he might not be used to that physical play. Well, yes, other than the tournament they played in. Landon Roth, inbounding the ball, gets it in. Oh, bad pass. Harrington pushes it up court to Jeff Whedon. Whedon. Dellinger with that board. Brings it, it the other way. Oh. 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 No. Referee saved. Bjorken stepped out of bounds. This is ugly right now, Matt. Score is 25 to 15 in favor of the Central Dutch and 11.34 to go here in this first half. I'm fairly surprised. I'm not surprised at the pace. It's back and forth, but Buena Vista is not converting on anything. We're gonna bring the ball up the court. 
I guess I was just thinking, uh, this game's kind of the opposite of the girls' game. Girls' game theme was pounded inside, and this theme is just bombing from long range. The farther the better. Dedlinger with the steal gives it. And what a play! Gets the roll. And the crowd actually stood. They're alive, Dettlinger folks. Got They're alive. Dettlinger's got some words there for Dustin Kraft. Yeah, Dettlinger don't look like he's uh, short any words tonight. He's uh, giving it to a couple people. But hey, when you're scoring, you can say. Dettlinger going to try to complete the three-point play here. Linger shot is up and it's good. You sound like a golf announcer there, uh, whispering. Cut to the hole. Oh, BB steals it. That's excellent hustle. Jamie Wilson looking for something to pass to. Help him out, help him out. Oh no. Central steals it. Oh, 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 oh. Excellent hustle by OJ Fralick. Zebra say he stepped on the line. Give it back to the Dutch. Excellent hustle by OJ there. And I was kind of looking for some wooden shoes, but I didn't see <laughs> any. gonna inbound the ball here. Gets it into Borg. Borg over to Gaskill. Dustin crashes the ball out front. Driving, up and... And it's good. Going the other way, though. Going the other way, they say foul. foul. We're going to go down to Jay Enser for a field report. Jay Enser down here on the sideline of Stevens Fieldhouse. Uh, three big facts, or key factors, pardon me, to this game so far is right behind me, the central bench. They've been in this game the entire time. They've been getting loud, getting ratty, cheering on their teammates. They've been a big part in spurring this early lead for the central team. Now, two other notes. We've noticed, while well, these notes down here, that Coach Van Hafton, since being down, has tried to implement some of his other players. He's already had about eight or nine guys so far play the game for him, trying to get fresh legs out there. Another thing is they have also, the Beavers, added their full court man-to-man -man pressure defense, thus causing a few turnovers. They've been down through most of this game, trying to stop some of this momentum here. The press will hopefully take care of that problem for them. Now back up to you guys. Thanks, Jay. Thank you very much, Jay. That was an awesome field report. Thanks for that. Since the bench is where I spent most of my time, I'm, I'm always grateful when, uh, when the bench gets a, gets a report in. Gonna have OJ there giving it over to Bloom. Bloom out to Schmallback. Schmallback for three. No good off the front of the rim. You Central know, recovers. They're not hitting any of their shots. No, they're man. not. They need to square up. They're they're gonna try to get all these points back at once, and that's just not gonna work for him. Borg driving the right side, looking left, gets it to Kraft. Or no, I'm sorry. Bentlinger with Gaskiller. another steal. Gives it up to OJ. Gives it to OJ. OJ up, and it's good. Count two more. OJ with a little BV. high step all along. BV cuts the the, the to deficit five. to five. 9.44 to go here in the first half. And we're uh, about halfway through this, and it, it looks like the theme of this game is the long-range bomb, J or <laughs> Jay. <laughs> Sorry there, Cass. I'm it's all right. Get a nice shot of the crowd there. They're not into it yet right now, Matt. I no? I think they'd like to help their beavers out a little bit, but not doing much for us. There you see the big fish. This the is fish, what yes. Brian Van Haften has to say. You know, he's probably telling his team, you know, you know, cut down the turnovers. You do an excellent job of pressing the floor, but, you know, you got to hit the shots, but don't worry their fall. Jamie Wilson has eight rebounds. As we yeah. take a look at the scores he's table. He's a force under the basket. He's a, yeah, if uh Looks like he was kind of whipping there early on. If, yeah, uh, it still looks like it. i tell you something that i like to see him do is when he gets that rebound, square up, pump fake, and take it up, try I, to draw the foul. He's looking to pass it out right away. I agree. Go up strong. But he might get a few blocked, too. There's some big boys in there. And look out. Chris Kingsbury of Central College is back in the game. We've got Wade Vandermullen back in. Kid has not missed a shot yet, people. Borg gets it over. Oh, gets it blocked Johnson. by Dillinger. But Dillinger oh. takes it. Dillinger gets the errant pass and puts it in. Dillinger takes it to the basket. Up. No good. 
Wilson with the tip in. Excellent follow by Wilson. Getting up. Put it down, That's big man. Nine rebound. rebounds for Wilson. Borg brings it back up. Gets it inside to Dillinger. We got a fight. Oh, gets it out. Dillon. Detlinger. Two more for Detlinger. Goes to the left hand. Fundamentals, folks. Fundamentals. And the score is 24-27. Nine minutes to go. Borg brings it back up the court. Wade Vandermolen, what can, what's he gonna do? Up and, oh. He missed the shot, he missed. he missed the shot. He missed, he is mortal. Timeout, Buena Vista, falling out of bounds and make the call. Nice, nice play by who? The beaver box here was uh, blocking my view, I couldn't see who called that timeout there, Cass. I didn't either, Matt. <laughs> I'm just along for the ride. Well, then we're just gonna have to guess. I'd say it was a BV player. Okay, we'll say it was a BV player. That's excellent play. <laughs> pretty safe guess. Nice shot there by Adam Bartek. Thank you very much, sir. And who's back in the game? You guessed it, Big Fish. Brian Van Haften going to establish their game inside, I guess. Brian Fisher is a force. Schmalbeck bringing the ball up the court against Joe Borg. Gets it over there to Bloom. Bloom up and no. Nick Winters, Winters though. The Nick Winters gets it on his body. Borg brings the ball back up the court. Dillinger over to Johnson into Vandermolen. Vandermolen passes. Gets it out there to number 44, Keith Segner. Chris Johnson down to Borg. Borg for three. No good. Airballed. Airballed that one. Ouch. That one hurts. OJ bringing it back up the court. OJ. No good fish. 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 And the crowd is on their feet. Fish says, yay. Two more for me. The big fella jumping up out of the water. And, and BB the takes hoop. the lead, 28 to 27. Fish for the steal. Fish becoming a big force in this game. Small back driving up the court. Going to have a foul here on Joe Borg. Before the shot, so we're going to have a... Probably out of bounds here. No, wait, we're in the bonus. Foul on number 24, Chris Johnson. Schmall back gonna be shooting a one and one here. Getting somebody else in here, Landon Roth comes in. Comes in for O.J. Froelich. Front end of the one and up. One and one is up and it's good. Nothing but net for Schmallback. Hitting the throw is important. Bring us right back into the lead. 29-27, 7.43 to go here in the first half. Iowa Conference game, BV Beavers versus the Central Dutch. Second shot is up. No good. Off the front of the rim. Vanderbilt has the ball. Brings up, brings up court. Winners decides to challenge him. Vanderbilt passes out. And the shot is no good. Fish gets the rebound. Looks like the high flying Dutch are coming back to earth. They ain't making so many shots now. Schmalbach brings it back up the court. Bloom. Bloom shoots it. Good. B nice B shot there by Aaron Bloom. A 16 to 2 run here, Matt. Bring them There's Vandermolen from way, oh, almost. From way downtown. <laughs> way downtown. That was from almost outside the building, folks. Landon Roth covers, brings back up the court. Dribbling inside. Wants to give it to somebody. Gives it to Bloom. Out to Winters. Schmallback cutting through. Setting up the offense. Smart call here by Coach. There's Fish. Gives it out to Landon Roth. Oh. Landon Roth. Ball back up, no good. Roth gets the rebound, no good. Dutch recover. And Signer recovers it for the Dutch. Looks like Bjorkman, Dellinger, and Wilson are gonna enter the game here on a dead ball. Signer takes it around to Vandermolen. Easy shot, two Wide for him. Open. That's 14 for him on the night. 31 to 29, BB. He's Later. lighting it up. Yes, Wade Vandermolen is a player. The boy can play basketball. 
Nice pass inside. Uproth. In his score. face. Puts it in his grill. Takes it to him. Segner out front. Segner up. No good. Fighting for the rebound. Who comes down with it? Brian Schmall back for BV. He comes down with it. He's pushing it, pushing it. Behind the back pass to Bloom. And it's gone. Brings a count to AMB. Dips it to pass. Drives, draws, dishes for the bucket. Excellent, excellent. So we'll have the highlight film for that one. That's right. What an excellent da -da -da, play. Da -da -da. This one's <laughs> on Sports Center, folks. <laughs> Call the boys in New York. That was an excellent play. Central takes a timeout here as the momentum of this game is swinging to the Beaver side of the court. Before that pass ever happened, though, there was excellent hustle down on the Beaver defensive end. Oh. Coming up with the rebound, Schwalbeck takes it coast to coast, gives it up, and Bloom hits the shot. That was an excellent, excellent play. Coming back here to live action in just a second. Going to have Greering enter the ball into number 52, Mike Tinich. Gives it back to Greering. Greering bangs the ball up the court. Looking for somebody, gets it to Vader Mullen. We got mass substitution going on here, lots of players. Vader Mullen dribbling, looking, looking, looking. Finds number 33, Jeff Whedon. At the gearing, gearing for three, no good. Landon Rock. Landon Rock. Up. Wow. Hitting the skyrockets for that one. I think that guy might have used the force. He's like a Jedi Knight, Luke Skywalker. Denlinger for two in the paint. Makes the score 37-29, favor of the Beavers. 5.08 to go in the first half. That was Dellinger's seventh point of the game. Gehring bringing the ball up the court. The right side gets out to Vandermolen. Vandermolen looking for the shot, gets it back out. Surprised he didn't pop that. Pass into the round, they're looking for the open shot now. No, Matt, he's not shy when it comes to shooting the rock. No, it's not, oh. Another offensive foul taken by Landon Roth. He might be short, but he's pretty built. Landon Roth is uh, playing an important part here. He's yes. not scoring he many is. points, but he's getting the rebounds and he's making the plays for the Beavers here. No, he only has four points, but he has two rebounds. He's playing hard, he's hustling, hustling, hustling. The hustle man, one of those players that doesn't get their name in the paper, but no. wins the ball games. That's right. Here we go, one on one. We have a one on one. Landon Roth, front end one one is up, and it's in and out, says not this time. Gearing bringing the ball back up the court, looking for, Vanderbilt was open on the right side. Looks like the Dutch are trying to reset their offense. Oh! Three that point shot by Bettinich is blocked by Nick Det Detlinger. No soup for you. No soup for you. Come back on here. Fellas, uh, the Central Dutch are gonna inbound it here. Number 52, Mike Tinich. Inbound it to Gearing. Gearing drives. Gets it out. Vandermond. Excellent hustle defense. Only five on the shot clock. Four. Look who they put on Vandermond. Landon Roth. Roth gets away. Brings it up. And no good. In and out. Misses. Got the, numbers. Numbers the other way. They got numbers. Two on one. Up. In and out. Story of the night. And it looks like central ball off the hands of Nick Detlinger. OJ Franek to re-enter this ball game. Coming in for Landon Roth who's played a very instrumental part in this game, hustling, hustling, and hustling, as I said earlier, six or seven times. And Landon Roth gets a much-deserved rest there over on the bench. Yes, he does. Gearing's got the ball top of the key. Passes out there to Tinich. And the Dutch walk with it. Better pack a suitcase. That's a no-no. Took a walk. Can't do that. That was the uh, 10th turnover by the Dutch team early in this ball game. Coach BB Mason sends Dillinger to the scorer's table. He's going to be checking in for Oh, what a pass by Detlinger. Oh, in the head. Detlinger for three. Right. Gets it. Puts it down. There we go. He smiles about that one and as well he should. 
ka -ching. <laughs> oh, BB is up by 11 now. 320, 19, 18 left in this first half. On the floor. On the floor, everybody's diving. Call a timeout. Jump ball. Should have called the timeout there. Mike Tinich wasn't quick to think on that one. Coach Mason of Dutch wants a foul. He's angry. Coach Van Hathen showed as much motion as you're going to see out of him right there, folks. Mike Tinich going to inbound the ball here for the Dutch. Gets it into gearing. Gearing looking around, gives it out to Tinich. Looking for Vandermolen, looks like. No, denied by OJ. OJ says, go for me. OJ the glove. <laughs> Not to be confused with the famous glove in the OJ Simpson. Uh oh, another oh. steal. Can we have a dunk? No. Oh, in and out. Let it off Dellinger. Hard, and Dellinger, and that's, oh. No, the zebra say he was stepped out of bounds. Close, but no cigar, Pedro. No cigar. I thought Stribe was going to put it down for us, folks. Oh, they must have caught an offensive foul. No, he stepped on the line. Oh, I guess. all right. Let me just clear that up, Matt. My eyes deceive me sometimes. Okay. Kraft inbounds the ball, gets it to Greering. Green, As a matter green. of fact, I see 12 players out there. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Greering now, gets folks. it into Dillinger. Dillinger. But draws a foul. Got a foul on number four. Nolan, Nolan Stride. Out of Carolina with a freshman coming in, stepping up, getting some playing time. Early in January. Season's only half over. It's kind of nice to see those players blooming already. Dillinger's going to shoot two here. Got foul on the way up. State championship game two years ago. 28 points for Tosh Dillinger. They win by two points of Westwood of Sloan. Jimmy Wilson gets the rebound on that errant shot. Bjorken brings the ball up the court. Bjorken dribbles to his left. Back to Wilson, top of the key. Wilson ain't much of a scoring threat out there. He needs to get inside. I think that's what they're Dillinger. looking for. Off the glass, the kiss! The kiss! That is too sweet. That's Bill Rathry, huh? That's 12 points for Detlinger already. Step Dillin it up. Dillinger, oh, another steal by BB. Just hustle by Wilson. Dill Bloom goes up and two for me. I think this is the Laker Express, folks. BV is going nuts here. Johnson to Worthy back to Perkins. The Perkins to Worthy. It's good. <laughs> the Lakers living it up here, folks, here in the LA the Forum. <laughs> back to Stevens Field House. Gearing brings the ball up the court, gets it to some player I haven't seen yet. Fade away for three. No. You know what, folks? Number this is getting ugly. 31 to 4 run. Just when we thought they started out slow, they're over, they're averaging over what they usually do. This is it's insane. They're opening up a can. It's nuts. They're opening up a can of whoop. That's all you That's can right. say. <laughs> FCC regulations, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'd say that anyway, Cass. Let's say hello first back shot to is up. Stacy and Loggy. <laughs> Don't worry, Mraz. Everything is under control. Brian Schmalbeck ran his game for Nate Bjorkman as Wilson hits the first of two throws. But second up, it's good. That makes the score 48 to 29. Are you surprised at all? Minute and a half left. 19 point lead for the Beavers. The high flying Beavers. Is it the in the morning? No. Oh. They say he traveled. Take a little trip. Take a little trip. Take a little trip with me. That was, That's that the 14th turnover for the Dutch this half, which has led to most of this run, Matt. Yes, BV just went on a on a stealing machine run there. OJ Friends drives in, gets it, it stolen. Dillinger bringing the ball. Big man bringing the ball up the court. Oh, don't let that guy Dillinger surprise you. He can move. Gets it into Kraft, Kraft up, and it's good. Nice drop step, show and go. Time for a floor report with Jay down there. Not just yet, we're gonna wait till the next break there, Cass. All right. OJ brings the ball up the court, Wilson, driving, looking for the shot, gives it to Bloom, Bloom driving, up, and it's good! And as Bloom What's shoots, gonna happen? And as Bloom shoots a 
Shoots a free throw. We're going to toss it down to Jay. Hey, Matt and Cass, down here on the floor. I got a quick question for you guys. Uh, how do we explain the sudden momentum change here? Well, it's very simple. The press that BV installed midway through the first half, in case you guys saw that. Uh, they turned the defensive pressure on real quick for some turnovers. And pretty much, fellas, it's been about a 35, 35 to 11 run for this BV team since midway through the first half, just a tribute to the great defense of these guys. Anyway, back up to you two. Thanks for that thrilling report there, Jay. Back to live action. Boom, shoots it. No good point. off the back of the rim. Who are they going to give the ball to? They're going to give it to Central, I guess. We're going to have Dustin Craft inbound the ball here. Central trying to chip away at that 20 point lead. Central inbounds it. Gets it over to Dillinger. A couple open Dillinger guys moving. There, Dillinger moving. Dribbling, looking for the shot. Gets it out to Gearing. Gearing driving, gives it to Kraft, and it's good. They needed that one, Cass. 15 seconds left. I'd like to see him waiting this to get a score right here. 51 to 33. 10 seconds left now. OJ brings it up the court. Tick, Five tick, seconds. Tick, 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 tick. Dellinger for three at the end of the half. Go! Way down, down. What a shot. The Raid Man. Da, 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 da. It's a monopoly, folks. Brings it down. So at the end of the end of the half, 54 to 33 in favor of the Buena Vista Beavers over the Central Dutch, and we're going to go to a commercial. So we'll talk back at you when you come back. See you later. Got the straw, the boot. Do you think you have the power to change the world? I can change the world one child at a time. I know I can make a difference in those children's lives. I teach. I teach. Yes, they're teachers, but to the kids they reach, they're heroes. I teach. Do you have the power to wake up young minds, to be someone's hero? Teach, to make an impact on our future. Call 1-800-45-TEACH. Be a teacher, be a hero. We're going to toss it to a, a Schmidt interview here. We're going to have Scott Heinle do that interview for you. So enjoy this, and we'll see you. Hello, everybody. I'm joined by cross-country and track coach Keith Schmidt here. And uh, coach, I guess we're in the first weekend in December, and tr uh, indoor track practice is already underway. But I guess we'll give a quick recap of the, of the cross-country season this year. A uh, very successful cross-country season, uh, probably the most successful cross-country season that this school has seen in, in your 12 years here. Um, you were led by three seniors um, who basically w played the leadership role on the team, and you also were helped out by an infusion of, of freshman talent and some runners who stepped it up during the offseason and performed well for you. That's a pretty good recap. Not much reason for me actually to be here. But it was uh, a good year for us. Uh, we had some great senior leadership. Uh, and we'll miss those guys next year. Scott Kenny, uh, Jeff Peoples, Justin Tosinski, and then Brian White actually is a senior, uh, has a year of eligibility. This is his first year of cross country. Whether or not he'll run depends a little bit on where he gets placed as far as student teaching is concerned. But we'll certainly miss those four guys. We do have a good strong nucleus coming back on the men's side. Actually on the women's side too, we've got everybody returning next year. And uh, even though they didn't have some of the same success that the, women, or that the men had throughout the year as far as placing on top of the various meets, they made great improvement. Uh, I think it built a real strong foundation for next year. Okay, Coach, and again, on the men's side, uh, we won four meets right out of the way. The first four meets we won, I guess we tied one of them, but you can still consider a win. And uh, third place in the conference, our best place ever in the conference, uh, losing to a tough Loris and Wartburg teams over in, uh, in Dubuque. And then you went to regionals and placed 10th, which again is a, is a good finish for you guys. Um, uh, you, you led all year by Oscar Cardenas. He was your number one runner. And, and Oscar, he had a little bit of double duty this fall. It was going back and forth between soccer and cross country. Um, so that was a, a tough thing for him to do. Also, Greg Bell was a solid number two runner as a freshman this year. And what can you say about Brad Barons? He really ran during the off season, and, and he was right there for you as number three. Yeah, right. Uh, those three guys in particular had great years. Uh, Oscar ran out of gas a little bit towards the tail end of the season, actually wasn't able to run at the conference meet, at the regional meet, was a little less than himself. 
but uh, Greg Bell stepped it up when he had to in the big meets and ran very, very well. Uh, Brad Behrens uh, went from basically our number 10th or 11th runner a year ago, ran, ran hard this summer, ran a lot of mileage, got himself in great shape, uh, confidence levels was at an all-time high, and ran consistently well for us all year long. And so, you know, we look forward for those three guys in particular coming back. Uh, we've got some other young people that ran right behind our seniors all year long, and hopefully, uh, you know, they'll kind of get with it during the summer, get some good mileage in next year, and come into cross-country season, we can be as strong or stronger next year. All right, and that's something to look forward to. Now as we go over to the women's side, uh, this year you had a, a women's coach, so you kind of could concentrate on, on just the men this year. Um, but the women also return a lot of, of players for next year, so that's something to, to look forward to on that side. Right. We have uh, actually Ann Savelle was, uh, or Zavala was the only senior on the team. It was the first year that she'd actually ever run cross country. And, uh, but the remaining of the people are back. Uh, Cindy Jennings was assistant this year and did a great job with the ladies. Um, you know, worked with them on an individual basis, and I think. Uh, because of that, they were able to do some things that normally we weren't able to do when the men and the women are practicing together. And I think because of that, they had, uh, in fact, I know they, their times improved drastically throughout the season. Uh, I think they've got a whole new attitude as far as cross country is concerned. And I certainly hope that, uh, you know, they continue again to do some running through the summer and get in a little bit better shape at the start of the year next year. And we can have a real strong season with them as well. Yeah, Coach, so let's hope that this year started the, the foundation of what should be a powerhouse team in the Iowa Conference for years to come um, with, with a good nucleus of young talent. We can always hope. All right, well, uh, that's with Coach Keith Schmidt. I'm Scott Heinley. Now let's go back to the ball game. <laughs> Halftime here at the Siemens Fieldhouse. Jay Inzer down the sideline here with Coach Janet Berry and son Blake. Uh, Coach, great win tonight. Congratulations first and foremost. Uh, kind of a tough battle in the first half. Uh, you maintained a, a double-digit lead throughout most of the game. Uh, first question is uh, the change in defenses. You, you, you applied uh, some full court pressure, some traps there in the first half. Why did you change in the second half? Well, we wanted to just mix things up and we were trying to wear Central down. That was the goal of our press. And, uh, Second half, we just didn't feel like we were getting anything out of it. We weren't, I didn't think we were converting back into our half court defense very well, so we just went back to a half court defense. And, um, you know, first game after break, it's been three and a half weeks since we've played. And, um, you know, our legs got a little tired down the stretch. The, the girls still looked a little good, kept their strengths up. As you mentioned, the break had a little to do with that. Uh, did the break have anything to do with uh, Braz's play? She seemed uh, a little bit foul prone tonight. Did that cause any problems for you? Yeah, well. I told Michelle after the game she spent way too much time sitting by me tonight. Um, Steph Grono didn't play a lot of minutes. She's just coming off a of mono, so we didn't want to have to play her a bunch of minutes tonight. But, you know, Michelle was just kind of, you know, one of those situations where she always got caught. You know, she was a little half step slow and got caught on some cheap fouls tonight. But she's going to get better. She still had 18 points for us, and she's always an offensive threat. We just got to keep her on the floor more. But I'm very proud of our freshmen tonight. Kinsey Hansen and Minnie Becker, two freshman post players. I felt did an outstanding job. Mindy, or Jamie Brower came off the bench and gave us some good minutes. And um, this was a great team effort for us tonight. We had, at, at one point, we had three freshmen on the floor. And I don't think people realize, you know, we got, yes, we got some seniors, but we're playing a lot of young kids too. Yeah, we know, we know from uh, both up there and down here that uh, you mixed it up well. I mean, sure, you're, uh, your primetime players, such as Braz and Grono, set the game. Uh, uh, Braz had her 18 points, which is the average for her. But as you mentioned, uh, you got in about 12 players tonight. That's That's got to be reassuring to you as a coach. Well, yeah, we had five people that ended up in double figures. Ashley Reynolds came off the bench tonight and gave us 14 points. And Mindy Beckergate was in double figures as well off the bench. And, you know, anytime your bench can contribute like they did tonight, they probably had about half our points. You know, that's a real positive. And, you know, going into the conference right now, three games a week, we've got to be able to play a lot of people. And that was good for us tonight to get some kids some minutes. Well, Coach, I do appreciate the time down there, and I know it's uh, going to be bedtime here for Blake, but uh, once again, great victory tonight. Congratulations. Look forward to next game. Thanks a lot. Hands are down the sideline again once again with Coach Barry and son Blake. Uh, as you can see, the little guys are about ready for bed, and so are we. Before we do that, we're going to go to commercial break. We'll be right back to Stevens Fieldhouse in just a minute.
Thousands of women will lose a child to AIDS simply because they didn't get an HIV test when they were pregnant. You see, there's now treatment that can help stop the spread of HIV from mother to baby, which gives children of HIV-infected mothers something they never had before. A chance. If you're pregnant, please get an HIV test. And we're back here at Stevens Field House. Score at halftime is 54 to 33 in favor of the University of Beavers. Beavers going on a what was it? A 34 to 4 run there at the end of the first half. It doesn't matter what it was. All I know is the score is 54 33, 21 point lead at halftime. It's been extremely exciting. Nick Bellinger's shot at the end was just that was just great. That was, Two seconds on the clock, he reins it in. That was a shot. We're gonna. Unfortunately, the BV drill team isn't performing tonight, but we've got a tape for you that they per, that they made up earlier in the year, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. Enjoy it, everybody. Calvin, not Calvin, all right? Where's, where's dinner? Well, I thought you'd be home a couple of hours ago, and what, I what, put what, everything away, what, so what I What is this? Pizza? What, a uh, uh, pizza? If you had just called me, I would have known what Dinner it... ready is a pizza. I didn't know you'd be so late. Let me I ask you something. Is, is, is it I, I... too much to have dinner Honey, waiting when so I go home? Please don't be so loud. Don't tell me what to do! You shut up! I thought you'd be home I earlier. can get pizza! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll do something I better. I'll, I'll fix you something, something better. Let go of me! Get in the kitchen! No! Oh, <laughs> it hurts! Do you want to see what hurts? That's what hurts! That's what hurts! <laughs> now get up! And clean up this mess! Shut up! I'll be quiet, I'll be quiet. <laughs> oh, 
For information, call 1-800-END-ABUSE. One of the reasons... Can we talk? No? Okay. Okay, we're back here at Stevens Fieldhouse, halftime of the BV Central game, and BV is up 54 to 30, 33 in part two. A huge run there at the end of the first half. We're going to take a look at some highlights here. And we're back to live action here at the Stevens Fieldhouse, and we're getting ready for the start of the second half. Got a few quick stats to give along here. Uh, Wade Vanderbilt come out extremely hot in the first half, made 14 points. Next leading score for them was Dustin Kraft with seven. Detlinger lit it up for BB with 18 points, followed by Bloom with 13. For the all-the-ground game, Wilson, four points, nine rebounds, and three assists. Awesome first half for the Beavers. Let's go to the game. After Detlinger hitting that big three at the end of the first half, he comes out and misses his first shot of the second half. Dillinger in, hits for two. Looks like Central's going to just try to chip away at this lead, not go for the bombs right away. Schmalbeck brings it up over to Detlinger, over to OJ. OJ up, and it's good. That makes the score 57 to 35 in favor of the Beavers. And Schmalbeck, the steal Schmalbeck already. Schmalbeck steals it. Over to OJ, OJ can't control it. Chris Johnson controls it for Central. Brings it up the court, over to Vandermolen, over to Dillinger. Dillinger driving, denied. Dillinger wants to kick it back out, kicks it back out to Johnson. Johnson over to Segner. Segner driving, up, no good, off the front of the rim. Schmalbeck with a rebound. They've got numbers, one on, two on one, up. Nope, followed by OJ, and it's good. You know, these first few minutes of this second half are key for Central to come back or BV to pull away even more, Matt. Here comes Vandermolen. Vandermolen dribbling around, looking for somebody. Stole by Schmalbeck over to OJ. OJ up, and it's good. That's OJ the with the J. OJ with the J, this is true. Gord bringing it up. Central's not careful here. They're going to get themselves in serious trouble. Right now, Buena Vista's taking Central back behind the woodshed, Matt. And this is giving them an old-fashioned whooping. Two there for Dillinger. Makes the score at 61 to 37. Schmalbeck brings the ball up the court. Over to Detlinger. Wilson, Wilson taking it inside. First time we've seen that tonight, Matt. That's two more for Wilson. Ford brings the ball back the other way. Fakes the pass, fakes another pass, fakes another pass, fakes another pass, over to Dillinger. Dillinger <laughs> inside to Segner. Stolen by Dillinger. And foul by Dillinger. Call the cops, man. Dillinger's a thief. <laughs> it's another steal for Buena Vista. BV went on a streak there at the end of the first half. Just stole every ball that came their way. Central couldn't seem to keep their hands on it. We're going to have Bloom mentoring the ball into Schmallback. Schmallback going to be guarded by Borg. Schmallback still dribbling. Drives inside. Kicks it back out to Bloom. Bloom gives it to. There's Dettlinger for three. It's good. Can you do any more, I ask? Dettlinger. 
You know, not right. only is the shooting of BV killing them, but they had 15 first half turnovers, only five for Buena Vista. Sounds like the girls' game. Brian, Hat Brian Van Hafton decides he's going to take a timeout here. Can't imagine why. <laughs> Maybe he's telling him to call off the dogs a little bit. Well, I, I wouldn't think he'd be doing that, but you know, he might. Who knows? It's getting out of hand. And we're early in this quarter, or half, excuse me. 66 to 37, 17 minutes and 21 seconds to go here in the second half of this game. And the uh, Beavers at this pace are going to break 100. Oh, 100? <laughs> Maybe even 200 if they're not careful. They're really taking it to them. I don't think they will, though. I think uh, I think old Coach Van Hafton will put in some of the younger players and let them get some experience in this kind of game. But it's only it's early. 17-21 left in the second it's half. It's still early. We could have some kind of a comeback, although it would be miraculous. Huge. BV is up by 29 points right now. I've seen worse, or better for that matter. This is true. You know, it's important for the central players to not look at the scoreboard so much and worry about the score, just worry about coming, you know, playing hard and finish strong, play their kind of game. Sagner in balls to Borg, Borg over to Johnson. Johnson dribbles left into Dillinger. Dillinger out to Borg, Borg fakes it. Nope, got to hit that. Got to hit that. That's key. Segner gets the missed shot, and he misses. There's Vandermolen up, and it's good. Wilson in there fighting for another rebound, although he didn't get it. He's in there. Vandermolen doesn't miss very often. Schmalbeck brings the ball up. Maybe even stalling a bit already. Over to Bloom. Bloom for two, and he hits it. Nice shot by Aaron Bloom. Up the court, Johnson. Johnson over to Dillinger. Dillinger cross court to Borg. Borg takes a three. No good off the front of the rim. Wilson with the rebound. You got to hit those shots if you want to come back. That left him wide open. Oh. Wilson brings the ball up the court. There's a change of pace. Yeah, no kidding. You said pace? That stuff's made in San Antonio. <laughs> Detlinger into Bloom. Bloom out to Wilson. Wilson driving. Gets it to Detlinger for three. Nope. No good. Push inside. Looks like some blue on 25. Offensive foul on Aaron Bloom. There's a show of good sportsmanship. Dillinger helping Detlinger off the ground there. Another good show was Bloom smiling all the way down the court. Yep. <laughs> Just knows he made a mistake and he's going to have to correct it. We have Segner enter, entering it here to Greering. Greering going to bring the ball up the court against Bjorken. Green entering, trying to get the ball in the game. Right? Cross court pass to Johnson. Johnson fakes up. No good. Segner gets the technical foul. Technical foul number 44. I don't know what that was all about, but Key Segner getting a little mad. Key Segner puts the Looks ball like in the hoop. Looks like Coach already got someone in for him. Key Segner tried to put the ball in the hoop, and as it came down through, he just gave it a whack and hit it against the wall. I don't know. It's, it's not a heavy bag. It's not a speed bag. I don't know what you're punching it for. No. But hey, just a, I think it's just a sign of frustration. Just saying. I think so too. Gonna have Aaron Bloom shoot two here. First one's no good. You no, know, BB is not shooting the throws the way I'd expect. No, not following their female counterparts. That's for sure. Second shot's up. That one's good. Since it was a technical foul, that means BB gets possession of the ball. And Mr. Looks Segner's like Coach going to have a few words Mr. to say Segner's to him. Segner's going to have a seat on the bench there. Yep. Little Jimmy Cricket whisper in his ear. Hey, what'd you do? Bjorkman bringing up the call, uh, ball up the court. And it looks like Dana Seifer's in for the first time. Number 50 for Buena Vista. He's one of our biggest bodies. Shot for Bloom, no good. Dillinger gets the rebound. Kicks it out to Gearing. Gearing brings it up the court. Over Looks Dillinger. like Seifer's hurting out there. I don't know. He had that look on his face. I don't think he was mad. Dillinger gives it to Kraft. Who are they going to give it to? Buena Vista basketball. They give it to BV. Everything's going their way. Having Jeff Whedon come in the, into the ball game here for Chris Johnson, number 24. Have I don't Nick think we're going to see 44 the rest of the game. No, I I don't know if Segner will be back. That was a awful big mistake. Cost that us was team, uncalled for. Cost us team three points. 
And the referees did not hesitate. No, they didn't. As soon as he hit that ball, the bam. Not a smart move on Mr. Segner's part. You get blowouts like this. Sometimes teams try to take out their frustrations on each other and uh, hope we don't see a bar fight break out here. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's any bar stools anywhere near. They'd have to go clear down to Malarkey's. Hope they don't want to climb the bleachers either. I'm kind of a lover, <laughs> not a fighter. <laughs> Oh, I can't even come back to that one, Cass, so I won't even well, attempt. Adam Matlock told me that. <laughs> He's a good guy. Adam Matlock, our assistant director, having a good lap yeah. with us. Not, not the lawyer, folks. Gearing bringing the ball up, enters it into Kraft. Kraft fakes, left, goes right, up and in. Left Little show and go to Seifer. That was a nice play. Winners enters it into Landon. Landon makes a spin move at center court. Gets it off to Stribe. Winners the top of the key. It's over the left side. To Bjorken. Gets it to Stribe. Stribe for three. Let's go! Oh. 72 to 43. It's about to hit the fan. <laughs> Looks like we got a foul here on Landon Hall. Yeah, it doesn't look like BV is going to mess around either. They're taking it to him right now. Nope, they want to. I think Van Haften says, let's end this puppy. Yeah, I think he wants to see some of his younger guys get in the game. Some of the guys that work hard in practice that just, you know, can't earn a starting spot. Like me. No. <laughs> like uh, Eli Frakes and, and, and Brent Smith and and Ola. Uh, can't think of all their names. Vander Mullen puts his first one up, and that one was good. Going to try for a second one here. That's good as well, 72, 44, 14 and a half minutes to go. Brad Nelson's a player I was leaving out. Everybody else looks like he's got in so far. Stride dribbling. Stride drives and good. Oh, the Laker oh, roll. This is looking like the Lakers. <laughs> Gary and bringing the ball back up the court. Did the craft, craft driving. Blocking foul, they say. That's going to be a two shot for Dustin Kraft. That was a good drive to the hoop, and uh, defense was a little late on that, Matt. Yes, it was. Still moving, Got there obviously. just a split second late. That's what I thought. Dutch had their way early on in the first half, but uh, BB says, uh-uh, not in my house. And they're clamping down. Dustin Kraft's first shot is up and good, making the score 74-46. The crowd was really into this game early, but it's going to take a lot for them to get back in. It's a pretty big uh, blowout here so far. But he hits the free throws. Kraft makes both of them, making the score 47 to 74. Scoring about the clock is the best way to do it. All bench players in right now, Matt. Just shows how much uh, confidence Coach Van Haften has in this team. That's right. That's right. We haven't heard much from Wade Vander Mullen. He started out the game really, really hot. Could not miss. This game's starting to look like the earlier one in many parts. Sorensen started off early for the Central girls and cooled off after that. Landon Roth for three, makes it. Trifecta for Landon Roth. Shooting out the lights, Matt. Seventh point for him. Gehring brings it back up the court, the right side. Uh-oh, uh -oh. we can see something here. Drive up. Oh, 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 Dunkaroo, oh, baby! Oh, oh, what a play by Strive. That brought the crowd to their feet. Look at them. <laughs> that was a nice play by Strive. No good off the roof. Fish rebounds. It's not the best duck I've seen in my life, but it's the only duck I've seen tonight. Enliven life and me up. How about yourself? Oh, off the hands of Fish. Just in trouble. Bjorken for the shot. Two, no good. Winner with the rebound. Central Sky. That dunk was Stribe's seventh point of the game. Landon Roth, excellent hustle. Nice play by Landon Roth. Gets thrown into the bench. Good I'm sure hustle. he enjoyed those knees. <laughs> Here come Wilson and Detlinger. Fish runners will take a break. Craft to learn of the ball from Central. Gets it into Greer. Up, no good. Blocked, partially blocked. That linger. Driving. Is it the. Oh! 
Takes it up. I thought he was going to hammer it down, but he made sure the basket first. Drive goes to floater. You know what? Hunter's looking pretty good now. 81 to 47, 12, 27, 26, 25 to go in the second half. Backs him down. Nice move. Just couldn't hang on to the ball. And we're going the other way, Matt. O.J. Freilich re-enters the game for BB, along with number 35 for Central. It's going to be the first time I've called his number tonight, man. Aaron Kuker. Kuker from... I'd stick with Kuker. Our statistician just informed us 21 turnovers tonight by the Central Dutch. There's another one to make it 22. Wilson inbounds at Bjorken. Bjork, oh, almost traveled there, Bjorken. OJ driving up and two. It's two for OJ, and he got the foul. Going to go for the for the trifecta the hard way here, Cass. Yeah, see, this is the easy way. That's OJ's 15th point of the game, man. OJ's just he's taking it to him. I'm enjoying it. Makes a three-point play, it makes it 84 to 47 with 12 minutes to go here in the second half. Looks like Coach Mason for Central's putting his backups in too. I think it's about time for uh, Oh! Nice pass. Too bad they couldn't. I think it's about time for Coach Van Haften to get oh. in some of his younger players. Number four for Central. We haven't called his number. Number 53. There's Dustin Kraft. There's a name I know. You know. It doesn't seem like it's Central's night tonight, Matt. No, it doesn't. We came in here, we were expect Central's one and eight, but Cass and I were expecting a good game after the after the girls game that we saw. Well, Central gave us a quick start. 25-15 there, lad. And then all of a sudden BB just poured it on. Like they were holding back for a while, you know. Yep. Dangle the carrot in front of the horse, and all of a sudden they took it away. <laughs> this is true. They they decided to say not in my Siebens field house. That's right. They took it to them. Central's they just, it, they just can't seem to get anything to go their way. They had it going early on, and uh, Vandermolen was hitting his shots, and Chris Johnson was hitting some shots. They were, they were doing well, and just fell apart for you know, them. I think part like. of that is uh, BV is just a better team than them. I mean, hands uh -huh. down, Central's big, and they're not putting it inside. They're no, not. They're not. Only Vandermolen was one hitting the shots early, and uh, Johnson was hitting them too, but he only hit one or two, and then after that he hasn't shot the ball. If they would have got that ball in there real early, I think they could have done some real damage to BV. But they didn't. <laughs> but they didn't. No, they That's didn't. Right. Looks like uh, Adam Bartek's taking a break. Yep. It's 84-47 uh, here, uh, Buena Vista. 11:43 left in the second half. Nice shot there by Mark Hazelton. Thank you very much. We have uh, Jamie Wilson, Nate Bjorkman, O.J. Freilich, Nick Detlinger, and Nolan Stribe on the court for Buena Vista. Wilson enters it to O.J. I don't want to butcher his last name. That's why I keep calling him O.J. It's O.J. Freilich. Bjorkin over to O.J. O.J. to Detlinger. Detlinger cross court to Wilson. Wilson looking what to do with it. Kicks Wilson. it to Stribe. Getting hit on the head a lot. Stribe out. Resets the offense. Nice choice. Oh, that that driving. Oh, what a pass to Stripe. Stripe for three. No good. Off the front of the rim. Wilson fighting for a rebound. Just sheer will and determination. We're winning by so many points. Look at him still going after the ball. Oh, OJ Freilich like with a big see forearm. Out the football field. <laughs> Bringing down the hammer. Hulk Hogan with the lariat off the top rope. Monday Night Nitro. That's right. Yep. Things are getting out of hand. I think uh, Coach Van Haffen is uh, working one or two of his subs right now. Kraft enters it to Greary. Over to Kraft. Over to number 35, player we haven't seen yet tonight. Cuver. Kraft tries to enter, but Dentlinger steals it, bringing it the other way, and oh! oh! What a play! They have two fans on their feet, Brett Favre and Frank Crone. <laughs> Brett Favre. Brett Favre making the trip here from Green Bay, Wisconsin, traveling out to San Francisco on Sunday, I believe, to take on the 49ers. In a game I hope the Packers lose. As do I. 
But this is basketball. This is basketball. We'll stop talking about professional football. Dellinger made a nice move to the basket, Matt. He just took the ball. Dellinger up, in and out. Gearing with the move inside. Number 35 driving. Where's Aaron Cuker? I tried to call his name next time instead of his number, folks. I think Tosh Dillinger's gonna come off the bench here, get a couple more minutes. You know, I'm surprised tonight. Dillinger don't have very many points. He's averaging nearly 25 a game, 23 a game. Looks like BV just uh, shut him down. Probably watched a little bit of game tape on him. Maybe even that uh, great state championship game that he had. Had seven points. That's all he has, folks. 16 shots. Excellent backdoor. Kevin Thompson. Shouldn't have gave it up. Showing his range. Nope. Oh, no good. Once again, Buena Vista ball. Cuker knocks it out of bounds. Jamie Wilson good inbounds it here. Gets it into OJ. OJ up to Schmallman. Schmallbeck, I'm sorry. Schmallbeck's an excellent ball hander. Oh, no. Cross court. To Wilson. Down the right corner. Can't leave Bloom open There's like Bloom. that. He will shoot. Dettlinger oh. from way downtown. No good. Pulls off the air ball. I don't think Coach liked that. No. But Brian, like I said, that's all the emotion you're going to get out of him. Brian Van Haften hanging his head says, no, no, Nick. That's not what we need. Gary right. bringing the ball back up the court. Nick taking a little razzing from his teammates and his home crowd for that air ball. <laughs> Probably his roommate calling out for Do that. that when you're winning. Dillinger up, good. Entry pass from Aaron Cuker. The shot, I don't think Dillinger's gonna miss too often. Schmalbeck heads it up to OJ. OJ gives it to Detlinger. Detlinger out to OJ. OJ thought about it. Dribbles in, passes it out to Bloom. Bloom for three. Gets it and he got Bloom is shooting 70% from three point land on the season. 70% folks. I can't shoot 70% from layups. Not that I'm good, but. <laughs> Gearing over to another guy I've never seen. There's Kevin Thompson. Inside, no good. Frelick with the steal, or should I say ball thrown right at him. OJ, oh! Woo! Reverse layup by OJ, what a play. Up and under. 91 points already, folks. 9.06 to go here. That was 18 for uh, Frelick. That's a lot Gearing of points. Gearing gonna enter, enter it to Dillinger. Foul on Jamie Wilson. I think I scored 18, 18 points total in my life. <laughs> I'd be lucky if I scored that many. Gillinger's gonna shoot uh, two here, I believe. No, one and one, excuse me. Out on the floor. First end is up, no good. They're not getting nothing to fall their way, and, you know. That's gotta be discouraging for a team, especially when you're one and eight. My small back. Excellent block off the board there. Gearing bringing it the other way. Gets it inside. Oh! oh! Big thunder! Five slab a jamma. That was quite a play. You know, uh, that's a bright spot right there for Simps or Central. They got a guy that can dunk good. Detlinger enters it into OJ. Oh. Detlinger for three. No good. Dillinger gets the rebound. He's going to take it himself. They've got number three on one. Behind the back. Blocking foul on Schmalbeck. That's a tough call for Schmalbeck. It looked like Dillinger was out of control, trying to go around the back. We're going to toss it down to Jay Enzer for another field report. Jay Enzer down here on the sidelines of the Siemens Fieldhouse. And real quick, a reminder here about an injury update that we had. Uh, Matt Jansen, the junior, if you look on my left shoulder, he's behind the uh, player's bench here, his arm in a sling. Uh, elbow injury and surgery took him out for the rest of the season. Now, why is of any importance? I was watching some of the players run by, including O.J. Freely. Look at the side of their shoes. They got number 40 written in there, uh, kind of in uh, memory to, uh, you could say, a fallen teammate. He'll be out for the rest of the season, where it is. And uh, just nice to see some of the guys paying tribute to a teammate. Shows a lot of teamwork here and camaraderie. Uh, right now, the only question that remains with eight minutes left is, can we break the century mark? Well, fellas, what do you think? Back up to you guys. 
Jay, it's looking like uh, we're probably going to make. We're only nine points away, and there's eight minutes to go. There's three from Bloom. Oh, I were a bet man, I'd say yes, but I'm not, so I don't know. <laughs> so that's kind of a nice little piece about that 40 on their shoe. That's kind of nice for the teammates to uh, show some respect for another fallen member. I agree. It's just it's a really cool thing to do. Dillinger, you, Dillinger showing some range. No you could see early in the season that Jance was having trouble with his elbows. He wore a volleyball knee pad on it. Oh, BB at the numbers. Schmalbeck coming the other way. Schmalbeck up. No good. Off the glass. Winners got it stripped. Kevin Thompson gets it into Harrington. Had that dunk a minute ago. The game's There's getting kind of sloppy Gary, now. Over to Harrington. Real sloppy, as a matter of fact. Oh, here we go. Here we go. No. Oh! Who's a foul going to be on that one? OJ with another <laughs> forearm. That kind of kind of looked like WWF Raw or something. Yep, that was a stinger splash. I don't know who the foul's going to go on. It looks like it's going to go on uh, number 13 for Central. No, it's going to go on OJ Fralick. <laughs> and rightfully so. That was uh, a yeah, pretty cheap foul. That was a to pretty say strong least. foul. Board coming in for... Uh, Number 22, Josh Greering. Chris Foreman from Manning, Iowa. You know, I, I look at this and it, I'm, you know, I'm a BV fan and uh, student here, but I see a lot of bench players for Central and I see a lot of starters here for BV. Kind of nice to get some of those bench players uh, some time here. You know, I, they're going to be the players of the future. I feel their pain. I know what they're feeling. <laughs> feel their pain. I, I feel Raven. their pain. I sat on the bench from 7th through 11th grade. Second one's up. No good by Chris Foreman. Nick Winters by a nice uh, rebound there. Small bag bringing it up. Over to OJ who had that wrestling move just a minute ago. OJ, no, no. He passes up three inside the fish. Oh, no, no fish fry on that one. Bring it the other way. Here's Harrington. I think that big guy wants another dunk. Board. Here's it into Dillinger. Harrington. He takes it strong to the hoop, Matt. He takes it real strong to the hoop. Harrington says, I want to dunk every time, and if he doesn't get the yep. dunk, he's Dunk gets you a, very much. He gets a very strong layup. Small back with the ball on the left side. Over to OJ. OJ for three. Nope. Denied. Fish with the rebound. Up. Oh, fish says yes. Fish goes fishing. And he caught a big one. Up oh, popped the bobber. <laughs> Dillinger inside. Oh. Fish says no. Fish rejects that one. Too small, he says. Denied. Fralix finally coming out of the game. Brent Smith for the first time, right? Freshman number five for BV. Out of Guthrie Center, I believe. And yes, I'm right. <laughs> Congratulations. Nate Bjorkman also coming in, along with Landon Roth. Landon Roth says he's had a big game for the Beavers here. You might not see it in the scores, folks, but teammates will really attest to that. He's played Landon, an excellent game. Landon Roth contributed tenfold to that uh, huge run at the end of the first half for BV. Shot is up for Central, and it's no good off the front of the rim. Looks like everybody wants their points right now. Board to Harrington. Harrington enters it in. Dillinger. Shots up for Central. Harrington recovers. That was a nice rebound there. Dillinger. Dillinger tried to go up, got fouled by Winters. Going to shoot two. Winters tries to block it, but gets him on the arm in the process, Matt. Dillinger's going to have two shots here. Looks like the rest explaining to uh, winners what he did wrong. Mm. Score is 93-56 to 56 with five minutes and 41 seconds to go. Dillinger with that nice touch. Reigns at another free throw. Foul situation. Looks like BV's fouled quite a few times with their 10 fouls, the only central six. But I think they're still, part of that is they're uh, still being really, really aggressive. And that's nice to see. You don't want to see your team, you know, conceding the win already. Yeah. 
Landon over to number five for BV. That's Brent Smith. Brett Smith. Haven't seen him yet tonight. Bjornik at the top of the key. Gets it over to Brent. Back to Bjornik. Landon for three misses. Borg recovers, bringing it the other way. Gets it inside to Dillinger. Dillinger up. Fish says no, rejected. That's a couple rejections in just the past couple minutes for Fish. There goes Brett. Smith scores a freshman. Smith you know, that's the first points. time we've scored for a while. Well, I guess not. We've scored four points in the last four minutes. And There's Dillinger reigns it in from downtown. Dillinger showing his range. That's right. Smith has the ball, gives it back to Nick Winters. Brett Smith, ball on the right side. Back to Winters. Fish. Bjork, we thought about that one. Landon down in the corner. Landon gets it back out to Bjorken. Bjorken driving to Landon. Landon back to Bjorken. Back to Brett Smith. Winners. Into Fish. Fish up and no good. The fisherman's hook couldn't get it to fall. Borg to Dillinger. Dillinger for three. Yes. That's another three for Dillinger. I've seen this all too well. <laughs> He hit six against us at state basketball. Ooh, ouch. That's his 21st point of the ball game, folks. He's really come on. As I said earlier, he only had seven points in the first half, and the average is 23. But the second half has been strong. York in driving. Gets it over to Smith. Smith driving. Gets it to Fish. For the big fella. Fish, no, denied. Looks like Fish come over the back on that one, too. Got another foul. Who's it going to be on? Looks like it's on Fish. Double lot, they say. Two shots for Central. Oh, looks like we're going to see our first taste of Eli Frakes tonight. And also Brad Nelson. That's nice to see some freshmen getting in there. That's right. Brad Nelson, he's a sophomore or junior. Junior from Blooming Prairie, Minnesota, sitting next to Coach over there. He'll be in soon. Parenting going to shoot two. Sorry about that dare dare time, folks. It happens. First one's up, no good, off the front of the rim. Here we see an Eli Franks and Nolan Strive. Strive had that dunk for us, a little jambalaya. Jambalaya? Uh, New Orleans stew. Jambalaya. Barrington's had, a, had that big monster dunk though of his own. Oh, he did. That was more impressive, it didn't bounce out. <laughs> Arrington second one up and it's good. nice touch for the big man. Six foot seven. In our conference, that's tough. There's Landon Roth getting trapped. Uh, getting mugged. Oh, he comes out of it a lot. I see people go to jail for worse or less than that. Here's Smith out to Landon. Inside to Frakes. Frakes is not a post player, although he's in there. He might be listed at center or forward. He's a guard. He played guard in high school. Six foot four. There's winners for three. No. Central gets the ball out, number 23. Gets it out to Mike Tinich. A lot of new faces in here, folks. Bear with us if we pronounce the names wrong. Shot! Oh, Strive! Rocked by Strive. Get that shot out of here. Number 23, Jared Garland. Feel being rejected. Strive's got some serious ups. Off the glass, no good. Oh, got undercut. Smith almost got undercut by his own player. That looked like that didn't feel good. There's Stripe for three. From my angle, I can't be sure. There's Landon. Smith back to Landon. Landon feeds it. Stripe, Stripe nice for Nice shot two. from Landon Roth. Scores 97-65. About two minutes and 40 seconds to go here at Stevens Fieldhouse. Seventh point for Landon Roth. Not too much question who's going to win this ball game. Excuse but, me, uh, tenth point for him. The question pretty much is, is BV going to break the century mark here? Here comes Smith. Smith gets it out to Stribe. Stribe to uh, that Eli guy. Frakes. Eli Frakes. Thank you, Cass. No problem. Stribe has it at the top of the key. Gets it to Smith. Smith driving. Up. And it's good. Smith is an extremely quick point guard. He's going to flourish in this league soon. 99 to 65. Two minutes and 10 seconds left. And one of the teams took a timeout. One point away from the century mark, Matt. 
We have close up on the central bench right there. Good looking bench, I think. I mean the wood. <laughs> it's okay, Cass. We've had a good game so far, folks. You know, two ten left. I hate to see. Uh, hate to see a blowout like this. Yep. But, but uh, it's good for the Beavers. That's good for our and team. It's, it's a learning lesson for the Central Dutch. That's right, young team. They'll be back. Central Dutch are going to drop to one and nine. One and two in the conference. BV will be three and one in the conference and six and three overall. Two minutes and ten seconds left here. One away from the century mark for the Beavers. Garland gets it out to no shot, says the ref. We got a foul on number 13. He looks angry. Chris Foreman doesn't look happy. I think Mr. Foreman doesn't think anything happened there. No, he didn't. If you can follow that. Gonna have number 10, Tom Horskamp, shooting a couple here. Minute 59 left. If he hits this one, hits it up to 100 for the Beavers. Just Shot saying Tom up. Harskamp. I'm not sure of no his good. name, but uh, Tom Harskamp and him switch suits over uh, each game. So uh, this is not Tom Harskamp, as I stated. Our program says it is, though. Sorry, folks. <laughs> okay, we're getting really tired here at Stevens Fieldhouse, but that's okay. We're going to stay here and bring you the rest of this game. We have number 35 from... The Pella Dutch, Aaron Kuker inbounds it. Gets it into Garland. Number four from the top of the key, no good. Smith with the asserting rebound. Point guard showing his stuff. Smith gives it to the nameless player. Nameless player is driving, gets it over to Smith. Back to the nameless player. Smith set. Smith for three, no good. And tipped in. Winners. There's 101. Nick Winters gets the basket that puts him over the century mark. We were waiting 65. for it, folks. It took us a while, but we got it. About a minute to go here at the Siebens Fieldhouse. Central entering the ball into the paint. Kicks it back out. There's Nick Winters. Uh-oh. Nick Winters. Up. Oh. Bam! Oh, my. Oh, <laughs> a little, like I said, jambalaya. Jump, something like that. Makes the three drives. Nope. In and out. 35 up. That's good. That's Aaron Kuker for two. 38 seconds left. 103 to 67. Favorite the Beavers. You know, as the opposing coach, you hate to see that dunk when you're losing by that much, but you can't tell your players to stop playing if you're BV. This is true. Number four up. Oh, blows the layup. Up, oh, the nameless player you know, comes down with the rebound. That just sums up the night for Sancho. It does. They Wide open layup off the side of the rim. Opportunity presented itself to the end, at the beginning of the game for him to, to break away with it, but BB just shut him down. Oh, off the front of the rim. Brad Nelson missing that shot. Reserve for Buena Vista, number Three, 13. Three, two, one, and that's the ball game, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Shot was good. 103-69 is the final here. That was uh it was turned into a pretty long ball game there, Cass. It did. They uh beginning of the game there, BV was not playing well. They looked like they might uh might get run away from. And uh, we'll talk about that when we get back from this commercial break. Kathy died real suddenly from a brain aneurysm. She was 29 years old. There was no warning. Organ donation was a very painful decision to make on my own. I wish we'd talked about it because I didn't know if I was doing the right thing. We didn't have that discussion because we thought we were young. We thought we had a lot of time, but we didn't. Only you can prevent forest fires. And it's true, we know we can count on you to do what Smokey says. Drown your campfires with water. 
Make sure it's totally wet. Then stir it drown again. Eat a weed. You count on you to do what Chunky says. Only you can prevent forest fires. And we're back here at Stevens Fieldhouse. Final score is 103 to 69. We got some awards to give out here, Cash. Yes, we do, Matt. We're going to give uh, the player of the game award. It's going to have to go to Nick Detlinger. Yeah, he really lit it up for BB tonight. He scored lots of points. He hit that one three at the buzzer and uh, hit some other ones beginning the second half. Yeah, there's. It was kind of hard to narrow it down, but in our minds, he was the one that kind of stood out and just helped BB to that big run right at the end of the first half. Had right. a bunch of steals and. Had that pretty pass behind the back. Uh, we're going to give the off the bench, off the bench award here to Landon Roth. He uh, didn't really uh, contribute much in the way of the stats department, but just gave out, you know, set the picks, made the hustle plays, and just, you know, gave BV that extra shove whenever they needed it to get him going. He only had nine points, but he did an excellent job with uh, um, uh, defense and and playing hard and hustling and rebounds, but. Uh, one more player of the game would be the the elbow thrower of the game. I think I'd have to give that to O.J. Frederick with a yeah, couple of those forearm shivers there. I don't know. O.J. OJ forgetting that it was uh, basketball and not wrestling. Yeah, he better tuck them back into his bag of trips, get into a close game, yeah, and get a technical for he's that. He's lucky he didn't – if it hadn't been uh, – if it had been that close of a game, it hadn't been that close – Or if, okay, I'm going to start over here. If it had been a close game, Probably would have been a technical. We're going to throw you to some highlights now. As you can see on your screen there, 103 to 69, the final score. We're going to toss it down to Jay Enser. He's uh, live down there with Coach Brian Van Haften, and this is going to be the last call tonight for me and Cass, and we've enjoyed it. Hope you didn't get too annoyed with us, and you'll tune in next time. We're going to toss it down to Jay, so Jay, take it away. The, uh, the full court pressure there. Jay Enser here for the final time tonight, along with uh, head coach Brian Van Haften. Uh, Coach, uh, it was a great game this evening. A win is always uh, what you want to see. Uh, midway through the first half, and look at the Central guys are picking up some momentum. What did you do to change that? Not really anything. Uh, we called a little time out there when the score was 20 to 11. We talked about playing a little bit more intensity. Uh, you know, we got a couple things going, and momentum just kept going the rest of the half. You know, that's probably the best 12 minutes we've played all year uh, by far this year. And uh, it was a lot of fun. We played hard. And uh, that's the key. You know, we played hard. We had 14-0 boards in the first half. Those are the kinds of things that we have to do to be successful, things that we had gotten away from uh, the last couple of games. And uh, you know, so we talked about those things a little bit. And, uh, you know, I, I like this team a lot. 
They responded to that pep talk pretty well, coming out strong. Uh, like you said, hitting the offensive glass, playing great defense, some steals, uh, forced some uh, fast break points, some, some great defensive work, uh, like block shots. Uh, uh, anything uh, anything to seem to catch your eye in particular about this game? Any one thing that stuck out to you? Well, I think once we got that run, I think we kept the ball in the middle of the floor. That's one thing that we talked about a little bit, forced people baseline and that kind of thing. I think we did a good job with that. Uh, I think we're in the passing lanes especially well. And I thought offensively we played very, very unselfishly. Uh, final thought of the evening, it must have been kind of nice at the end of the game to be able to put uh, four freshmen, one sophomore in. And they still performed pretty well. Is that kind of a, maybe a, a little forecast of the future, you know, knowing you got this much talent on your team? I guarantee you we got three great freshmen. And, uh, and when winners, Stribe and uh, Brett Smith. And uh, we've, got, uh, we've got two or three others that are also very good. Uh, but those three guys are going to be great players here at BV and continue our tradition. Well, Coach, once again, great job this evening. Pleasure having you Thanks. here for the postgame show. Thanks. For everybody, for Matt Cass, myself, and the whole crew, it's been a pleasure bringing you these games this evening. Good night, everybody.